I have here a music video. I want to render it for DVD. What do I do? I can do it the hard way or I can do it the easy way. And I choose the easy way. First up, markers. Note that I've inserted markers here. DVD Architect, which will do the actual DVD preparation, will read these markers as chapter markers. I've also inserted two regions, and you can see the text of each. DVD Architect will interpret these as subtitles and display them for that particular length of time. And you can have up to 99 markers. 99. There's only one rule in terms of rendering for DVD with Vegas. And that rule is do all your rendering in Vegas to the DVD architect specs. I'll say it again. Do all your rendering in Vegas to the DVD architect specs. Don't know what they are? Audio. You have two choices. If you're using surround sound, you must use AC3. AC3 allows for stereo or 5.1 surround. Bit rates from 64 to 448 kbps inclusive. Or you can use PCM uncompressed audio 16 bit 48 kilohertz stereo. Those are your only choices. Anything else should be converted to that by Vegas. In terms of video formats, you have one choice, MPEG. Let's back up a tad and look at our project properties so we know what Vegas is going to do. In this case, this project is a standard DV project, 720 by 480, NTSC 2997 frames per second. These are all the choices of what our project could be. We're going to need to convert whatever we have to the DVD spec. Audio 4416 stereo. We're going to need to upconvert that to 48. Vegas will do the conversion for us. Now that we know where we stand with this project, let's go ahead and render. Remember, we're going to choose the main concept MPEG-2 format. Let's take a look at the default template. Set up for video rendering quality best. OK. Video MPEG-2, 72480, 15 iframes. Leave everything here exactly the way it is unless you know exactly what you're doing. Same thing with the Advanced Video tab. As far as audio, unclick the Include Audio stream because we're not creating a self-contained MPEG file with audio. We're creating separate audio and video streams. Leave this as is.